Well, this week was expected to bring thousands of football fans to Orlando for the storied Florida Classic. The matchup typically features Florida A&M and Bethune-Cookman University. Of course, COVID-19 brought that to a halt once the Mideastern Athletic Conference chose to suspend fall sports. The game's cancellation is another hit to Orange County's economy. The county comptroller says last year's Florida Classic brought in more than 55,000 people and had an estimated $28 million economic impact. The game may be off, but News 6's Jerry Askin found out both schools are working to keep the spirit and celebration alive. He joins us now live. And Jerry, how are the universities honoring this tradition? You know, Ginger, you know, really a very different year this year for FAMU Rattlers, BCU Wildcats, and the many alumni who really rely on this big Florida Classic game this year at Camping World Stadium. Well, this year it's not happening. It's all going virtual because there's no game and because of the pandemic. And they're really encouraging everyone to donate to help BCU and FAMU during these struggling times. Really, what steals the show is the Battle of the Bands and the halftime show. It's that time of the year once again, the Florida Classic between FAMU and Bethune-Cookman University, and it always brings lots of excitement here to Central Florida. Ask BCU alumni Nick Solomon. My favorite part of the Classic is the tailgating, uh, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, the friendly uh, rivalry between the two teams. But that rivalry this year is going all virtual due to the pandemic. Here are the events offered this Tuesday through Saturday. Everything from a virtual career fair Tuesday, a virtual Bell of the Bands Friday, and more. We will accept this due to the circumstances we find ourselves in in 2020, but I'm looking forward to 2021. I talked to the campus presidents of BCU and FAMU late today. All as this year, event organizers are hoping to sell out the classic, encouraging folks to donate online, and the proceeds will all go back to FAMU and BCU. The pandemic has other plans. Uh, we have no intention to to uh, allow uh, these challenges to stop uh, our respective communities from coming together. The current president at BCU had this to say when I asked about the university's recent financial challenges. We've successfully migrated out of probation and we have retained full uh, SACS accreditation uh, and uh, our balance sheet uh, is is healthy. Yeah, and the BCU president told me this too. I'm going to reach for my phone to make sure I'm quoting him directly. He said he's been working over the past year or so to really clean things up financially after taking over in 2019. And that's why it's so important for these donations to keep things on track. And because of how the school, he says, was affected due to COVID-19. Read about those virtual events happening for the Florida Classic right now at clickorlando.com. For now, we're live outside Camping World Stadium. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. New six. All right, Jerry, thank you.